Yo everybody, what's up? My name is Oskills and today I am going to do something a little different because I won't be actually talking about the gameplay that you're seeing currently in the background playing right now. I'm actually going to tell you about the thing that I did this weekend, which was that I went to this exhibition in Gothenburg in Sweden, which I was a part of with my dear beloved mother who uh, was uh, exhibitioning some stuff that she's been working on. Now this took place, as I mentioned, in uh, Gothenburg, you know, the place where PewDiePie, or PewDiePie comes from, originally, and uh, this this exhibition was about like new technical advances and uh, in innovations that uh, people wanted to show to show that they're hey I've I've invented this thing it's amazing come come and look at it and maybe buy it whatever I don't care well to be fair they probably do care about whether or not you're interested in their products because hey it's what they've been doing for the last whatever like five ten years or so but really what struck me as uh, really interesting was this thing that you could you could use basically to uh, charge up anything that goes in that that powers via USB using only salt and water. Now the thing is though that this this product itself costs like 1,300 kroner, which equivalents to like 130 no 170 bucks or something like that. And uh, then you would have to use this puck of salt. And uh, one of those would uh, equal to one charge, fully charged, like iPhone or whatever, wh whichever phone or USB device you happen to have with you. So one of those salt canteens for every charge, and one of those costs like, well, I don't know, 15 bucks. So it would be, I mean, currently it's kind of overpriced, but you know, new technology stuff. It always costs a lot more when it's just developed, you know. So the price may eventually go down to an affordable level to someone who isn't like uh, hiking in the wild where there's absolutely no electricity and you would have to have one of these things. And the thing that impressed me the most was that this thing was actually developed by a Swedish university in Gothenburg. And there was even like a picture of Obama looking at this thing. And you can really tell on this on this face that he was thinking like, oh yeah, I can totally see this going into like Haiti and stuff like that, where you will have to have the power sources available, whatever you're uh, not having any electrical power available to you. Yeah, I can totally see that happening. Yeah, it's a very, very good product you got there, Sweden. Good job. So yeah, that was the thing in this exhibition that probably impressed me the most. But that's not to say that there weren't a lot of other really cool stuff that uh, was in this exhibition. For example, there was this bike called the string bike that in, instead of a chain, it had two strings connected to like the treadles, hence the name, string bike. And there was a lot of benefits with this thing that I'm not really gonna go into detail really right now. But I, what I will say though is that this thing costs 20,000 kroners, which equals to about twenty two hundred dollars which is a, quite a lot for a for a bike but as I mentioned earlier it's probably gonna go down in price in the future and become more affordable to the common man and just one more quick thing before I wrap, wrap this up is uh, this small like moped car thing that they also had on this exhibition it was like an electric small thing with uh, with open, no doors on its side, it was just open and it was white, I'm probably gonna like uh, put up a picture of it right uh, in the screen right now or something and the really funny thing about this is that it's called Z CB but, uh, but I really thought that they should call it the SPI for like obvious reasons hashtag TF2 baby SPI but that's all for me right now I hope you enjoyed this little unusual commentary and I hope you're having a good one. Until next time, I will see you later. Peace out.